In this video, we're talking about how to find the midpoint of a line segment in three-dimensional coordinate space. And in this particular example, we've been given the endpoints of the line segment. One endpoint is 5, negative 2, 3. The other endpoint is 6, negative 7, 4. Remember that the formula that we're going to be using to find the midpoint of any line segment is this formula here, and this just gives the coordinate point of the midpoint. So to find the x value of the coordinate point that represents the midpoint, we just say x sub 1 plus x sub 2, and we divide that sum by 2. Same thing for the y and z values in the coordinate point that represents the midpoint. So all we need to do is take the endpoints of our line segment and go ahead and label them. This first point we'll call x sub 1 y sub 1, z sub 1, and it doesn't matter if you call this point x sub 1, y sub 1, z sub 1, or this point x sub 1, y sub 1, z sub 1, as long as we're consistent. So this will be x sub 1, y sub 1, z sub 1, this will be x sub 2, y sub 2, z sub 2. And it's helpful to label these so that you don't forget which point you're using as the 1's and which point you're using as the 2's halfway through the problem. So now that we've got those labeled, we're going to go ahead and say our midpoint is going to be x sub 1 plus x sub 2. So x sub 1 is 5 plus x sub 2 is 6, all divided by 2. For y here, we're going to get y sub 1, negative 2, plus y sub 2, negative 7, all divided by 2. And then for the z value that represents the midpoint, we're going to say 3 plus 4, all divided by 2. And when we simplify here, we're going to say the midpoint is 11 over 2. Here we have negative 2 minus 7, that's a negative 9, so a negative 9 halves. And then 3 plus 4 gives us 7, and so we end up with 7 halves. So 7 halves is the midpoint, it's exactly halfway between this end point of the line segment and this end point of the line segment. And when it comes to finding the midpoint of a line segment, again, this formula for the midpoint is going to work every time, regardless of what the endpoints are. The important thing is just to remember to be consistent and keep your x sub 1, y sub 1, z sub 1 values here, and your x sub 2, y sub 2, z sub 2 values here.